Happy Mopar Monday. Back at work. Getting ready to drive local P and D. Update on the fans. I got the fans in. And uh they're doing alright. I'm happy with them. Uh ignore the wiring. The wiring is kinda weird right there. I'm just running them off of two different toggles. I tried running them off of one toggle initially, but I blew the switch. Yeah, because both these puppies right there pull 50 amps, and I had a 50 amp uh, switch, and the switch just couldn't handle it. And so, yeah, but I think part of that had to do with the the old alternator. Uh, this alternator, I replaced it with the other one. Uh, this one is the correct one for this particular truck, 97 Ram, 3500, 4x4. 5.9 v8 or the 360 uh, these things have 136 amps going out uh, the other one that was on there only had 90 amps going out so there's a uh, what's that 46 amp difference and this amp or this alternator is definitely keeping up a lot better than the other one did I'm still going to upgrade later on to the mechman I was looking those up and uh, I'm very uh, interested. And to get the old clutch fan, the mechanical fan off, I could not twist that nut for nothing. Gripping onto these and that, I don't know, this thing kept twisting. So I just took my sawzall and zzz, zipped that baby right off. And eventually I might get it off. I don't know. And uh, yeah, so that's the update on the fans and the alternator. Doing pretty good. Ugly little mess over here. And here's the the fuses for the for the fans. We got 60 amp uh, fuses in there. The big boys. And then here in the cab, turn the key. There's my switches. Initially, I just had one uh, switch right there, but that blew, so I had to go back and get more stuff. So I got this switch, that's for the fan on the driver's side, and that switch is for the one on the passenger side. You know, just kind of alternate them back and forth, so when I'm cruising or I really need it, then I just flip both of them on at the same time. Uh, yeah, so... And my cup holders, when I took them out to put the other first switch in, I ended up breaking in here anyway. And those cup holders in these second gen Rams suck anyway. So, yeah, that's where we're at. So, I hope all of you guys are having a wonderful Mopar Monday. And, uh, yeah, then my water bottles here. They used to attach to the old shroud that came like way out over here all the way to the engine almost. So I just got these things like zip tied up for now so I can find some other way to hold them up where it don't look so uh, hillbilly, <laughs> I guess. I don't know. Yep. Oh, I also found why well, I had to keep adding fluid all the time. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Oh yeah, I also put a new belt on it. Where is it? Uh, I have a freeze plug. Maybe more. There it is. Leaking. That one's definitely leaking. So if one's leaking, most likely I have more leaking. And I'm not really looking forward to that. It's not a hard job to do, just when they're in vehicle, they're hard to get to. That one is pretty easy, but like the ones along the side of the block, along the frame rail, by the motor mounts, those are pain in the butt. And like down there, I, yeah. Anyway, that's a whole nother project, because I have to add some antifreeze like every other day to it. I was wondering why, and I didn't really didn't notice it until I had had this big shroud off. So anyway, happy Mopar Monday to all y'all.